Yeah, of course, yeah. Um, we've had a good week's training as always and um, we've done as much work as we can do. So, you know, we've put ourselves in the posi best position we can be in. How much, uh, I was asking Chris, uh, given the state of the group, is there as much pressure going into this game as you've experienced maybe since the Euros? Uh, I think so, yeah. It's one that we feel that we must win and everyone's saying we must win. So, um, we understand it's quite simple now. I think we must win, so... Um, I'm not sure, we'll see at the end, but we'd like to win all four, I think, uh, and that's the plan, so uh, starting with a difficult one tomorrow night, um, we'd like to get after Mark in the last four with a win, definitely. Here has become a, a real fortress, Is that, does that sort of give you the confidence going into it? Yeah, we enjoy playing here, it's always a good atmosphere under the floodlights, and uh, we've had some good nights here before, so um, hopefully we'll, we'd like to replicate that and you know play good and, and get the win, and then we'll go into the next one. Defensively, you'll be annoyed that you've been ahead in, in two of the qualifiers but haven't been able to pull back. It's something that we've, we've spoken about. We need to do better when we're when we're in the lead. Um, so you know, if that does happen tomorrow night, which hopefully it does, um, I feel we'll be in a better position to you know to keep that lead and you know try and keep going and maybe score again um, and just manage the game a little bit better and, and see the game out. You know, we're a very resilient team and. As you say, it's something that we, we've not been happy about. Um, so, you know, we, we'll have to work hard, harder than we have done before to put that right. You're one of those on a yellow. Does that at all play on the back of your mind? No, I think you're aware of it and you, you don't want to pick up a silly one. But at the same time, you know, if you do, if you do pick up a yellow, it's football, you, you do. And you just have to deal with it and someone else comes in. Um, so, you know, we're missing Joey, which is, you know, not very good for us and we'd, we'd prefer him out there, but it's football, that's the rules and you just have to get on with it. And just, it wouldn't be a press conference, I didn't ask you about Gareth. Um, is this the, the, the stage for him now, these four games? I mean, he is your, you're the captain, he's sort of talisman for you. How do you look from that? Yeah, we'll, we'll need him, as we always do. We need him to perform um, as he does and, you know, uh, put a shift in for the team and, just do what he always does for us, really, and I think if we're if we're going to be successful, we always need him to play well, and um, he knows that. He knows what it's all about when he comes here, and he's had so many good nights here. You know, we're, we'll be hoping for another good one, but more, you know, more importantly, the team is what you know needs to perform. All of us, we all need to do our own jobs. Well, I'm not sure. To be honest, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how they'll go. They'll try and play the game. I don't know. You know how what they're thinking in their camp. All we've concentrated on this week is us. What we need to do with the ball, without the ball, and how we're going to try and uh, attack the game. So I'm not sure what they're thinking, but uh, we need to. We want to win the game, and you know we'll try and impose ourselves on them. I think um very good team, very talented team. Uh, you know, they play really nice football. Uh, they pass it well. Their movement's very good. They've got some good individual players obviously. Um and you know, attacking on the ball, they're, they're a big threat. So, you know, we've done our homework as always. We know them because we played against them not too long ago. Um we respect them. We know it's going to be a difficult game. Um but as I say, you know, for us we're not we're not worried too much about Austria. We're not concentrating on them. We're you know, we feel that if we play our game, we'll win the game. Actually, the same about Gareth's from the point of view from Austria. A request conference in Austria is no request conference without a question about Marco and Arthur. You played him in Swansea, you played him at Everton, you played him at the 2 2 win in Vienna when he scored two goals. What do you think about him? I think, you know, I'm a, I, you know, I really think that he's a good football player. I enjoy watching him. Um, obviously, very talented. You know, he can. He can create a goal. He can score a goal. You know, he's physically he's very good. He's, he's obviously one of the main threats for us to that we have to deal with. As you say, he scored a couple before, so um, he's someone that we need to keep an eye on. You know, from the last time I played last that teams often do so much about momentum. <coughs> this game's in a tight period. Is there a feeling that you know, we've got a lot to do? If we win this game, we can just sort of really. Yeah, definitely. I think that's what we've we haven't had that momentum in this campaign, which has um, been frustrating. And 
But I do feel that it changed a little bit after the Serbia, which was still a draw, but we felt like it was a good draw for us and it kind of felt like the start then. So, you know, I think you're right. If we can win this game and keep our momentum going through the last, you know, the last three after this, um, you know, that would be the plan and try and pick up a bit of a bit of steam, for, you know, finishing the campaign. Okay. Any more questions? Okay. Thank, Thank you. you.